Yaira Nami, blessings to you. This is Joshua from Chosen Vessels, the Preacher's Channel. Today, September 21st, 2019, we have new details for you about Genesis chapter 1, verse 6. Genesis chapter 1, verse 6 is a short verse. Nonetheless, it has two important clear-cut details about uh, the nature of the firmament as a matter of fact uh, the firmament uh, is itself a separate unit from the sky uh, or the space overhead this is uh, the English Bible translation of um, Genesis chapter 1 verse 6 and then this is the ancient Hebrew portrayal of uh, Genesis chapter 1 uh, verse 6 the English uh, translation uh, reads and God said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters and uh, it makes it appear as though right beneath the firmament is what water okay however the with the ancient Hebrew we rather see uh, afterwards the entity king above the waters issued a voice command saying let a rigid wall all right the firmament let a rigid wall come forth and be established in the midst okay of the waters and that a gap okay this is the gap be formed in between water and water water above and water below so uh, the ancient Hebrew has more details about Genesis chapter 1 verse 6 than we see in our English uh, King James Bible wherefore in this presentation we are going to talk about uh, the firmament and then secondly we're going to talk about um, the mechanism of speech or the mechanism we call the speech with the ancient hebrew the abbe uh, the letters we can once again see things clearly as they are just as our fathers knew them as they were taught by yahweh himself so if you find that the following information helpful please share it and help spread the truth your comments critics additions and uh, questions are welcome feel free to write them in the comment section below this video and thank you in advance for your participation genesis chapter 1 verse 6 according to the ancient hebrew the english uh, bible reads Quote, and God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Unquote. So, in the English, we only see one thing here taking place in, uh, in, in, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 6. However, in the Abbey, we rather see that there are two things actually taking place. So, um, <clears throat> Yeah, mawu blon, okay, and then the year again is uh, it indicate sequence, okay, going forward from Genesis one, two, three, four, and five. Now the entity above the waters, the entity king above the waters, is a mawu uh, blon, okay, the god above and uh, the god above, the L missing here and the O. It is a uh, breathed out okay a formulation this is the voice here the blow the voice and uh, by the voice we're talking about speech and by definition um, this is uh, how the English dictionary is defining uh, the speech I read quote the faculty of uttering articulate sounds or words the ability to speak or to use vocalizations to communicate unquote 
However, the Ebe, the ancient Hebrew, just put it, say, puts it down, you know, plain and simply as what? Voice, administration, and management. So the speech is voice, administration, and uh, management. Okay, the ga, the ba, the la, and oh, the blo. Okay, and uh, with the ancient Hebrew, it gets even it gets even better than that. Okay, during speech, we execute every single one of these letters because Yahweh created us after the letters. And this is just one example, and we have more coming to show you. So in ga, ba, la, o, the blon, we have the ga and the ba, okay, the ba, it means a sound, it, it means breath, it means life. So all this, all this is what? The voice. In the voice, we have three things, the sound, the breath, and the life, okay. Thing, things that are alive produce sounds. Things that are lively produce sound. Let everything that has breath praise Yahweh. So the voice is one of the signs, the indication that there is life. Okay, the b. And then we have the l. Okay, it means what? To hold, lay, or administer. So if you observe yourself, add, or if you observe others while they speak, uh, you you will see that we or they hold their breath during speech and with every word uh, we say or they say is an amount of air released from our lungs until we are out of breath and then we inhale right and we do it all over again so the mechanism of speech entails the la, which is what administering and holding our breath and releasing air flow a little at a time. And then the next one is the o, it means the management. Okay, during speech we put words into uh, we put words together intelligibly, and we implement intonation. Okay, so the speech is the mechanism of Ad managing and administering one's own voice simply put and proverbs 18 verse 21 from the king james version reads quote death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof unquote so it is an advantage to be able to use one's voice one's own voice productively okay and correctly to teach to exhort or to encourage or to sing etc so um, the entity king above the waters mau okay breathed out a formulation okay so he uh, yahweh issued a voice command saying okay he said uh g g ngoli okay and the g ngoli have uh, the g is that in the air the ng it means break the the g rigid and then the la holds uh, which is the firmament okay in in firmament we have g ngoli okay the da it means launch okay it's a function the function and then the the z it means the work okay and then the the ya it means it, the locations it means it is in the air okay and then the ng it means a break or a divide and then the ga it means rigid and the hold the la so what is the nature of the firmament it is uh, it is it is rigid it is uh, a divide like a ceiling and this is uh, Ezekiel's vision he saw the firmament. We'll go over that uh, shortly. And then the function of the firmament is what? The G and then the G. It means front part above Ngo. It means the face. Okay, so the firmament is uh, the front part above. It's the face of heaven. And if you look at it closely, it is a dividing wall. It is a dividing wall like the ceiling. Okay, it divides heaven from the earth. 
in former ment we have forma and then the ment the forma it is uh it is the root of the word it means solid forma in latin means so solid or form it means solid and then the ment is a suffix it's used to form nouns so form it means it's solid this is the gut here it means rigid okay and then g in golly okay this is uh the function uh, the front part or the face of heaven and this is ezekiel's vision he saw yahweh and then uh beneath the throne is uh the firmament he saw the firmament and beneath are uh the, the cherubim so uh it is transparent it is see-through but it is rigid at this at the same time to be able to hold and support uh, what is above it and this is uh, the, an image of a crystal block from the internet okay it is transparent and this is the, the sky it is transparent it is uh, uh, above it is the firmament it's a crystal clear rigid uh, ceiling and uh, prophet Ezekiel describes his uh, vision when he saw the firmament in these words I read quote Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 22 and the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature was as the color of the terrible crystal okay like a crystal clear it is clear stretch forth over their heads above so the firmament above uh, the, the sky is solid it is clear and then job uh, in his own words uh, actually god questioned job okay job 37 verse 18 i read quote hast thou with him spread out the sky okay which is strong okay the gut the gut which is strong is firm as a molten looking what looking glass as a molten looking glass it's transparent it's solid and also in psalm 150 verse 1 we read quote praise ye the lord praise god in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament okay of his power unquote in the firm in the solidness in the in the firmity uh, uh of uh, of his power so it is firm So Yahweh said, let a rigid wall come forth and be established in the midst of the waters. So in Jigali, the element Nava, okay, Nava elements branch out. No, okay, exclusively element to centralize. So the, the firmament to come and, 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 and be plugged in the waters to divide it. And and let it divide the waters from the waters. So the FB says, and that a gap, okay? A ye mama, okay? A gap be formed in between water and water. And again, as I mentioned it uh, previously in the introduction, the English translation uh, portrays Genesis chapter 1, verse 6 as though. The firmament divides the, uh, as though uh, there is water right above and right, water right beneath uh, the firmament. However, it is not so. This is what we see. This is what the, the, the letters are portraying, rather, of Genesis chapter 1, verse 6. Okay. Um, let, let a rigid wall come forth and be established in the midst of the waters, and that's what a gap okay, be formed in between water and water so this is what we observe naturally this is not what we observe naturally so there is a translation uh, mishap here so there is a gap in between uh, the dome and then there's the water beneath and above is water uh, a gathering of water above right yeah and a uh, continuation mama okay this is the mama this is the gap okay now no and a gap be formed nano chi chi dome a gap be formed in between water and 
water. So we do have a rigid, solid, crystal clear, transparent ceiling over the sky, above the sky. And again, things just aren't as they appear. Uh, uh, clear and, and transparent is self-explaining. Uh, the, the firmament being clear and transparent is self-explaining. Everything is transparent before Yahweh, physically and spiritually. He sees everything. So this takes us to uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 7, where we see uh, other details that Yahweh indeed gathered water above the dome and then uh, just as we have water beneath uh, the dome separated with a gap which is the sky where uh, he's going to put uh, the birds of the air to fly so thanks for watching and be looking forward to our next video presentation coming to you soon